What do you like at waiting for something? If you're an England football fan, you have to be very good at waiting. Waiting for them to win a major tournament, waiting for them to win a penalty shootout even. If you're an England cricket fan, you have to be very good at waiting for them to actually play well two days in a row. Children? Oh yeah, they're very good at waiting. Are we nearly there yet? Is it Christmas? When's my birthday? What about us? How good are we at waiting for things? It feels like we've been waiting forever for the world to go back to normal after Covid. It feels like we're waiting forever to be able to go on holiday, to see our friends, to see loved ones. What about waiting for salvation? Waiting for forgiveness for our sins? How good are we at that? Well, the good news is, we, can, we see in today's reading, we don't have to wait. Paul, when he's given his testimony in today's reading and Acts, tells about when his conversion on the road to Damascus. And he was told, what are you waiting for? Get up and be baptised, have your sins forgiven. And many of my brothers and sisters watching this, you will be baptised already. Perhaps those of you who aren't, what are you waiting for? Get up, be baptised, have your sins washed away. For the rest of us, we don't have to wait for our salvation. Paul tells us how he went from being a persecutor of Christians to someone who spread the good news of Jesus, who told us in his, in his letters that it's not through our good works that we're saved, it's through grace. God chose to save us before we were even born. So really, what are we waiting for? Each and every day we make mistakes. We don't need to wait to have our sins forgiven. We just need to remember to ask God through his son to forgive us each and every day. So brothers and sisters, what are you waiting for? Ask for that forgiveness again today. Amen.